Hey, it's Mrs. Cat here to round out our first set of unit two notes, this time on temperature conversion. Um, these are going to be pretty simple and straightforward, but we do need to talk about our temperature scales a little bit first. So um, we've talked about kinetic energy and motion of particles, and that is going to relate directly to temperature and temperature conversion. So according to the kinetic theory, it should be possible to lower the temperature of a substance in, uh, to a point in which all molecular motion ceases. So the particles stop moving completely. This temperature is known as absolute zero. So we're talking like the coldest temperature that theoretically could be reached. To make a temperature scale based on this, scientists have agreed on a system known as the Kelvin scale. The Kelvin scale is going to be based a little bit on the Celsius scale, which you're probably familiar with. Um, the Kelvin is the equal in size to one degree Celsius. So our conversions are going to be simple. We can either add or subtract um, 273.15. So this is a lot simpler than if you've done um, Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius Fahrenheit conversions. There's no fractions. There's no adding or subtracting 32. We're just adding or subtracting 273.15. So we've got this here. We're going from Kelvin into Celsius. We're going to subtract 273.15. If we are going from Celsius into Kelvin, we're gonna add 273.15. Okay, so when we talk about Celsius and um, Kelvin, we're gonna talk about this idea of it being an absolute scale uh, because it's based on absolute zero and that's our Kelvin scale. This is gonna be important because that absolute zero is where molecular motion stops, it's our coldest temperature. This is really important because there are gonna be no negative temperatures in the Kelvin scale. Okay, this is gonna be important to us, particularly in unit two when we talk about gases because we're gonna make sure that all of our temperatures are in that Kelvin scale so we don't wind up with negative um, values for variables that where that's not possible. So we're gonna take a look at just a few conversions. Again, these are really simple. We're gonna just add or subtract. So make sure you pay attention to six figs. We wanna to round to the least number of decimal places when we add and subtract. Um, I'm gonna start out with 22.5 degrees Celsius. Um, this is, probably around room temperature, comfortable room temperature. Um, and all we're gonna do here is change this into Kelvin. So we're gonna use that um, Kelvin into Celsius by taking our degree Celsius, which is 22.5. And we're gonna add 273.15. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do it in my calculator and make sure I've got everything that I need. All right, this is gonna give me 295.65 Kelvin. Notice there is not a degree sign, it's just a capital K for Kelvin. So this is not to the proper number of significant figures or decimal places really. When we round, 22.5 has one decimal place, 273.15 has two, Technically, that's a conversion factor, so we want to make sure that we're not really using that to determine sig figs. So I want to round to one decimal place, okay, which is here. The five tells me I want to round up, and that means I'm going to round this to 295.7 Kelvin. Okay. Um, for our second and third examples, we've already got values that are given to us. Um, we're going to take that eight, negative 84.1 degrees Celsius, and we're going to again add 273.15 to change that into Kelvin. Now, again, we talked about the fact that in the Kelvin scale, we have no negative temperatures, and we're going to see that here. Um, when I add 273.15, I get 189.05 Kelvin. Um, same as before, I have one decimal place in my Celsius value of temperature. So whoops, that means I'm gonna wanna round my answer I get in the calculator from 189.05 to 
up to 189.1. Again, we can see this very clearly. We went from a negative Celsius temperature into a positive Kelvin temperature. Um, last one, we're going to go from Kelvin into Celsius. Now, actually, let's go ahead and label these. Let's go Kelvin, Kelvin. So this matches up with our um, formulas we have above. Okay, degree Celsius, we're going to go Kelvin temperature minus 273. So we're going to wind up with a negative Celsius temperature here. So we're going to take 1.25 Kelvin, two decimal places this time, minus 273.15. Plug that in, I get negative 271.9 in my calculator, okay, but that's only one decimal place. So I wanna make sure that that has my two decimal places that I need. I'm gonna make this negative 271.90 degrees Celsius. 